street racing is only defined by two cars competing for speed. But the problem is we are seeing street racers doing a lot worse, taking over these large intersections and wide streets. A crime that's taking over streets and intersections across the nation. Illegal street racing is no longer a competition for speed, but who can pull off dangerous stunts behind the wheel? It is absolutely 100% a public safety concern. So we're concerned for the drivers of the vehicles, but we're also concerned for the by bystanders. We have seen people that have been killed at these illegal street races because they've been hit by a car. Mayor Dana Ralph says illegal racers and the hundreds of spectators drawn to them are blocking more and more streets across the city of Kent to burn rubber. They're doing new stunts with the cars that they see being performed by professionals. So they're drifting and they're drifting in places that aren't designed for that type of um, stunt reckless driving. It's the reckless driving that Kent Police Department says is putting a greater risk on the people inside and outside of the cars. We know we can't arrest our way out of it, but there has to be some sort of um, accountability or impact to deter this type of behavior. Leaders in Kent say they hope a change in Washington state law is the answer. The current laws and what the bill addresses hopefully will be redefining these new behaviors that are taking place. The city proposed a bill to address this unique public safety issue. The proposal suggests a car be impounded for 72 hours for the first offense of illegal street racing. What we're finding now is uh, we're seeing the same cars back Friday night, Saturday night, Tuesday night. So the impoundment would help put a little pause in there. If there's a second offense, the proposal calls for a forfeit of the car after a conviction, taking it away from the owner permanently. Along with holding illegal street racers accountable, the bill also calls out the promoters and organizers of the events, stating any person who knowingly aids and abets racing may be charged and prosecuted as an accomplice. And that is what is drawing the larger crowds. It used to be very much word of mouth, then everybody got a cell phone, and now it's just let me check Snapchat and that's happening. And so we we are working and um, we do believe that the organizers have uh, culpability in all of this and that something needs to be done on that front as well. City leaders say they hope the Senate will host a hearing on this bill. And if it is passed, they say this could make a difference in so many communities that are dealing with this hazardous trend. Reporting in Kent, Frankie Thompson, Fox 13 News.